Hello and welcome back to my story corner. Uh, you're here. That's that's great. Uh, I I bet you didn't expect to be here again so soon. I'm actually working towards uploading more frequently. I really want to aim for twice a week. Uh, no promises there, but that's that's my current goal. Also, I'm thinking of changing my format up a bit just because I don't know. I I think it would be really cool to talk about uh, more community-based projects and stories. Like, uh, you know, YouTube animation projects, possibly even some web comics here and there. So if you've got a story that you love on the internet and you'd like me to talk about it, uh, you just go ahead and just tell me about it in the description. Don't tr don't do links because that, that usually doesn't go well. But uh, if you just tell me who made it and uh, the title or like where to find it, like if it's not on YouTube, like what website... Then that'd be really cool. I'd love to see what you guys have to offer and, and what sto what more stories I could I could listen to because I like stories. So, anyways, today's story we're gonna get into is the pilot episode of Serendipity. Uh, that's by Alpha Duck. There will be a link in the description there for this. Um, actually, we're gonna kind of also do it's it kind of a watch through type style so so rather than the music in a in a couple seconds here rather than the music being in the background you'll hear what i'm hearing uh while i'm watching the episode i would i would suggest going and watching the episode first if you haven't but uh i'm only going to have the audio here too so uh i would definitely suggest watching it first this is not an alternative to watching it just just a place where you can hear people talk about it so here we go i'm about to press play and we're gonna watch ourselves some serendipity here we go Oh, I love that part. I love, I love Alexander getting smacked with a fish. I'd say that's the best catch of the day. Oh, this is great. Fat head like you, I'd be able to catch these stupid things. I ha I just have to say right now, most of this episode is probably gonna be me praising Alpha Duck's animation, because this is all beautiful. I guess you could say Rondo's just fishing for compliments now. Even this beginning part here, uh, which is actually a couple months old animation it gets better as it goes though because she's been working on it for so long oh man this is this is just this is just great nice short intro there getting right into things i really love when she does the silhouette things like she's doing here it, she does it a couple other times in the episode and it it always just looks really good Interesting things. What do Umbras do when they bite you? I don't know. It's not explained. Also, is Flynn is Flynn blind? Because it hints at him being blind, but it never really, never really actually talks about it. Also, I just want to say this is cool because like nothing has actual battle scenes, like fight scenes. I this, this is like zero animation projects with actual fighting in them. So this is pretty cool. Also, can we take a moment to appreciate the backgrounds? I feel like this is some really good scenery stuff. Oh, and this fight scene. I love... Ah, oh, it's just really good. It's just, it's just really good. It's really good. Also, for some reason, like... The Umbra all have, like, different eye colors or something. I'm not sure what's up with that. Like, that one's blue. There's a pink one earlier. This one's orange and... Oh, it's yellow, actually. The green one. Thank you. Thank you so the crazy much. laugh moment right here. <laughs> Looks into the camera. Thank you yet. This part's really well-timed with the music, too. I, I like this part. It turned out really well. And so this is more of that Umbra thing, like, she chops off his leg. Sorry, kid. Because cause he got bit or something. I just can't wait to see what that what's all, what that's all about with the Umbras. What if... I also have to say that Maxie's my favorite. Are the patrols sloppy, or did he just slip through masterfully? I'm sure it was a stupid bet or something. If not, then... I want to take a second just to be frustrated with Alexander about calling bats stupid, and now the second is over. Salvage this from the flames. A rune tome? Uh, what? 
Oh, this part. I, this is like really heavy exposition right here, but I can kind of forgive it just because I really like the little scratch pad style thing that, that makes me smile. And it all seems really interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what all the other tomes do, what all the other magic -y things. I thought this part was really intriguing, just because, like, the, the, how it's, like, books. You can tell that Alpha reads a lot because of this part, because she's just probably thought about this for a lot. I don't know. Maybe maybe she doesn't read a lot, but I just... That's just kind of, like, what I, what I gather from this part, what I'm getting from that. Also, this is important later. Pay attention to this. If you're watching this, pay attention. Dr. Otter. Actually, don't know the char yeah, the character's name. I especially love the uh, facial expressions just throughout this entire pilot. It's really good, especially right there, and this part. This part with Flynn sleeping. It's good stuff. And then Jackdaw's just Jackdaw is always just kind of fed up with everybody, and that's just kind of great. Like, I wonder what's up with Jackdaw. Who who stole Jackdaw's lunch? Why is Jackdaw so grumpy? Find out next time on the show. Maybe. Also like that little joke about, can I thank you yet? Also, this guy's really small. Like, actually just that pan shot with the... Uh, Jackdaw just comparing, like, he's like corgi size. Not very menacing. Private trespassing? That's the worst kind! Yeah, I wonder what's up with him. He's all dodging questions. He stole a rune tome. Also, Alexander drinks tea. This is a little... Little thing there, but he doesn't drink it out of a teacup, even though he could probably hold a teacup more easily. I would imagine. And some more exposition. Alexander, more like expositioner. Wouldn't it be more efficient if they guarded the temple before someone took something from it? Just a little thought. Maybe if there were giant beetles before you stole the, the tome, it would be harder to get out. I mean, it's just me. Also love this part. There's just all the arts here. All the scenery stuff. Alpha's definitely got that down. Doesn't look very dangerous. It actually looks really kind of, you know, scenic. Also, I want to talk about that goldfish thing. Like, how does that thing not die? Can it breathe? Is there a way out of the little bowl? Or does it just, I don't know, that bothers me. Like, the bowl doesn't look very life-friendly. It doesn't look like anything could live in it to me. But I don't know, maybe that's just me. Ooh, spooky scary. And this is what makes me think Flynn's blind, because also his eye color, and he also... But if he's blind, he also looks directly at things, like, fairly often, at least for a blind person. Also, is that the coin noise from Mario? Like, he's making a lot of eye contact for someone who's blind, just saying... Also, I totally did not notice the first time watching this that Rondo, the pink bear man, actually did not come with them. 
I guess it. So like, and at the first fight, Flynn wasn't there either. So it's like they have to leave one person behind or something to like. I don't know. Answer the phone calls or something. Also, lots of beetles. Lots and lots of them. Probably too many beetles, actually. Like, maybe it's a little excessive. I wouldn't want to be the one who has to feed all the beetles if... Well, not, not the beetles, the band. Of course, I guess if the beetles were in this cave, it would be almost as scary. Also, magic, friendship powers. That's pretty neat. I do like that the first battle scene was a lot slower paced and it was more introductory and then this one's a lot more fast paced which I think actually I think works really well just cause like it's kinda easing you into it but I don't know maybe that's just me some more you know it's like the Death Star no it's not the Death Star it's like episode one of Star Wars they just put the thing in the thing and now all the things are gone not really. I guess it's kind of different. Thanks for explaining what that was instead of just letting me believe it was friendship magic. Now that I know it's called weapons boost. Maybe if you were Beetle in your next life, Maxi, you would be more popular. Now I just can't stop thinking of the band when when people are talking about the Beatles for some reason. Who said I came alone? Also, ostrich with with a foil there, a fencing ostrich. That's pretty neat. Go back and look at that. It's a fencing ostrich, guys. It's my favorite part of this episode. Okay, so remember when Alexander was talking about remembering the damage, like fighty. Sp oh, more silhouette stuff. More so what stuff. But remember when Alexander was like, hey, if you're a bad person, you remember the fighty stuff better. And then he remembers the summon giant axolotl space dragon spell. So Alexander is the bad guy confirmed, maybe? I don't know. Also, the facial expressions right here. I love that part. It's one of my favorites. Also, I'm getting serious Avatar vibes from this scene with like the... It's like the water spirit. It's like season one finale. It's what I. It's what I'm feeling right here. Woo! It's a good part. It's a good scene. It's a good scene. I like that. And then he's just like, "Don't ever do that again." And then he's just like, "Poof." It's pretty great. Now, I like this part because Alexander starts doing exposition again, and it's just like, ugh, shut up. But then, then we got Jack Doc cutting him off in a second here. Usually, but if something is threatened that is dear to the spirit, and no more exposition. Enough talk about spirits. Yeah. Also, Jack Daw seems salty at spirits for some reason, question mark. Maybe that's a thing. And then the best part ever is the credits, of course, with Alexander finally getting some well-deserved rest. All right. So at about 12 minutes long, that is the entirety of the pilot episode of Serendipity. My gosh, I just got to say, this is a beautiful project. If anything, if, if anything else, just watch this project because it's freaking pretty. Like... Some just adorably drawn characters, some really good facial expressions. Uh, also, the voice acting is super solid. It's just a rock star cast. Um, I'm actually good friends with the majority of the cast, and not not to toot my ho own horn for knowing them because they're cool. They're cool. It's, they're cooler than me. They're all cooler than me. That's why I'm not in this. But uh, you can you can bet your bottom dollar I'm gonna fight my way into this this project. Um. You know, I would totally suggest uh, going and following Alpha Duck. I love this story so far. It leaves us with a lot of questions, but I think that that's really the purpose of a pilot episode. If you spend your entire pilot episode telling us things and explaining things, 
then then what's the point of watching anymore? I think that it leaves us with plenty of questions, but gives us enough to work with so that we kind of understand the world enough. Um, anyways, I'm really excited to see where this goes. Um, and actually, if you look in the description of the video, she talks about how the next five episodes will all be released in a single week in about a year and a half, which I think is crazy. Like, it's like an actual, it, it's probably the closest thing to like a seasonal uh, release as as there is in in the community so far so i think that's really a cool thing a neat thing i mean sure we have to wait a year and a half but we're gonna get five episodes all of i assume to be approximately the same length of this episode that's like that's like almost an hour's worth of serendipity and we just have to wait a year and a half like that's that's more than most projects like i don't know maybe alpha won't be able to pull through with this but i i don't know knowing alpha i think that she's gonna do a good job with this and she's gonna stick with it and if she doesn't, I'm going to probably fight her until she does. So, yeah, that's serendipity. I would definitely go check that out and go subscribe to Alpha Duck so that in a year and a half you can you can get that in your sub box. That's, that's what I want for Christmas. I know that's what I want for Christmas. Well, anyways, thank you all for listening. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this new, this new uh, d- format, I guess. I'm not really sure what I think of it yet. So... <laughs> Some feedback would be really nice, maybe on what you liked, what you didn't like, what I could possibly do better, which is, there's probably a lot I could do better and differently, but uh, just let me know what you think in the comment section, and thank you for watching. Have a nice day.